Hey, Orange One here. So uh, we are going to have our friend the Minotaur Harvey, or Harvey the Minotaur, I should say, um, do some combat in this episode. I've been wanting to show him off. I also want to show off those uh, relics, so hopefully I'll remember that. But I'm going to try an egg on these spiders to attack. Oh, something's going on down there. And then our friend here should fight that one. It looks like he's running. I don't know what what is going on. He's running for that one for some reason. Okay, well he's clobbering them. How much damage did you do? Oh my gosh, you like pretty much killed them. I'm just gonna play my music. Don't mind me, Harvey. Just take care of the ant. There we go. Look, he just crushes them. Like, honestly, it's insane. Yep, come at me. And then Harvey's gotta take care of you. <laughs> yeah, so in case you're wondering, that's kind of why there's so many ant corpses around here. I basically just had um, Harvey. Um, yes. What's that about? There's... Okay, I thought I was hearing something nearby or something. Okay, there's something shooting lightning below us. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I kind of want to bring Harvey down with us, but if we're doing so, I need to be careful because there are some tough enemies that could really hurt him, you know? So um, we are going to, yeah, we'll bring him down because there's so many ants and he kills them so quickly. It's like, it's a beautiful thing, you know? Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go in as is, I think. He is actually tired right now, but, um, oh, actually I need to get my flashlight, a new battery. Um, yes, that, let's go with, do I have any more disposables? I do not. Wow. Okay, cool. All right. I just drop that on the ground and we'll actually need to start bringing our batteries back. Okay, well, we're going to go down. Yeah, I think. Um, come on, Harvey, where are you? There we go. We're going to just kind of... Oh, wow, there's a lot of them right there. This could be interesting. I mean, I know I can take them, and Harvey can take them, but... I just kind of want to get a feel for how many exactly we're dealing with a lot basically um harvey where where did you go did you run away and where where did i hear that from northeast yeah so he's gone up here somewhere okay so you're just gonna like run up here all right i guess i'll follow you i think he was running away from like the mega horde of ants there though Honestly, he could, he could handle them. I'm not too worried at, about him actually being able to fight against them. He seems more concerned, though. No, dude. Fight them. You're fine. You're a giant minotaur, man. Um, maybe I'll give you a hand, though. Nope. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Dude, you're just... Can I, um... Tell him, I'm going to do your combat commands, agent rules. Um, why is it don't fight unless, uh, that's, that's kind of weird. Yeah. Attack enemies that get too close. I guess he must be like on some weird mode mode. Yeah. Let's tell him to prepare for danger. Will you, will you fight now, please? No. I'm gonna have to run around these dudes. He should at least kill that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna attack these guys. RV, you're killing me, man. I mean, not literally. I, I don't think you could kill me, but figuratively, yeah. I mean, you can look at the look at that dude. Why are you running away from them? Is it the fact that we're surrounded by all these other ones that is making you nervous? Oh wait, hold on. I think I, I didn't do the right command or something. Because it says he's prepared for danger. Oh dude, please fight them, yeah. Um, 
was that the ants that did that or you? I think it was the ants that did that. Man. Okay, this molly pack that I'm carrying is getting demolished. Come on, Harvey, there you go. I believe in you. Nope, he does not believe in himself. God dang it. So annoying. I have to like get behind him. There we go. There we go. He got it. Can I? I'm gonna just talk to him. I'm just gonna look at his engagement r rules. Um, am I? So, uh. Let's see, I could say attack enemies that get too close. Let's just say attack anything that you want. It says he'll follow close you. Um, yeah, I think that he's he's being overridden because he was told prepare for danger. I don't I don't know how to really change that, but it seems like he's yeah trying to run away. Are you trying to hit them now? I don't know if he's even trying to hit this guy right now. I guess Harvey's really scared of ants or something. Hello, ant. I think Harvey... Oh, yeah, he's... The molly pack that I'm carrying is also a molly pack from the barracks, so I'm not, like, particularly attached to it, you know? I was just... I was really hoping that you would kill that one, but I guess I gotta do it. Can I push you out there, please? Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you for being somewhat confident there. I'm gonna hide out in the corner again, though, because you just keep on not really fighting them. Okay, we'll just wait here, actually, until I catch my breath. Uh, actually, hold on. Yeah, it looks like we're okay, right, Harvey? Are we good? I'll just wait a little bit longer. And yeah, I think that there's actually a ton of stuff that we could do. Um, oh my gosh, that was brutal. Good job, Harvey. Yeah, good job. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. I knew you had it in you. Oh, nope. Never mind. He's he's not got it in him. Can I get behind you? <laughs> I mean, they're going to catch up to him eventually, right? Yeah, there we go. I'll take aim at this one, Harvey. Don't you worry. I got you covered. Maybe not. There we go. One of them's down. And then I think, yeah, the if I kill a couple more, maybe he'll he'll turn around and try and fight. Nope. Never mind. All right, I'll kill this one. You get the other one. There we go. Oh my gosh, you're gonna run away. Why? That thing's gonna chase you down, dude. I'm not gonna help you. There we go. Okay. Cool. Looks good. Yeah, I think that, you know, the fact of the matter is that we have an absurd amount of ants here. Which is kind of nice because they cleared out the lab for us, but now it makes it kind of hard to explore said lab. And whenever I take time off and then come back to try and explore the lab, it's uh, got like it's been filled back up. Luckily, though, the the queens, I haven't had too many issues with them respawning. Um, yeah, I think I do have first aid stuff on him, right? Right, right now. Yeah, actually, it looks like it does not look like I do. I thought I did. That's weird. Get that on the torso, yeah. And hopefully we find some other stuff. I don't think he's going to get an infected wound. Not from ants, at least. Hello. Yeah, come over here. Oh, wow. He really... That one, like, got pushed away from us before it even could get to us. That's funny. Can I switch? There we go. Just take him out, Harvey. The nice thing is also he's getting his uh, combat a little bit more experienced. Um, I've had a really hard time keeping him fed, though. I don't know what's going on with that. I think I... Yeah, he's underweight, actually. Um, so I need, to, I need to do a better job of feeding him. But because 
yeah, it's kind of annoying with his, like, uh, his diet. But I think we got cracklings on us right now. Can I talk to him and feed him? Uh, yes. Actually, I do. I have them just for this reason, but it's, oh, it's gonna do this annoying thing where it changes the letters on me. Uh, please don't throw this all up as well. And I wonder if... I mean, this should give him a good amount of calories, right? And then... Yeah, I think I also... I brought some water with this. Oh, hold on. Uh, F, and then E, F, and then... Yep. Okay, we're, I think that that is pretty good after that. Oh, whoa, hold on. I guess that ant was, was attacking him while I was doing that with him. Are you attacking back? It doesn't... I'm not seeing him attacking back. It's concerning. I'm not sure why. Yeah, maybe... He was like busy or something. I don't know what was going on there. Are you are you preoccupied? No, you can you can move. Okay, good. I think we got inbound. Got ants inbound. Man, we seriously like cannot make much progress. Oh, he's pulping a corpse. Oh, okay, so that's probably what he was doing then earlier. Can you just walk right by them? Those giant ants don't seem to mind you. Well, I mind them. So I'm gonna whack them with my gun. <laughs> oh man. It's awesome, man. Like, how can you not enjoy that? I'm honestly just kind of playing around right now. Um, sorry, I, w I was meaning to look at his uh, stats. Yeah, if we look at his combat, he's he's doing pretty good. I was reading him some of the books, but I ended up um, pausing just because I kind of wanted to show him off a little bit more. I need to feed him, though. I need to look for food probably in here and try and get that to him. Oh, uh, excuse me. Thank you. And, okay, so there's the stairs up. That's where we came from, right? Where's the stairs down? There's that one that was smoky. There's a couple other ones. So, have I... Why is this, like, showing up as, like... Do I not have my enhanced memory? No, I do not. Oh, so I've, I've gone and forgotten some of the rooms that we've explored. Dang. Oh, no. There's a lot of them coming all of a sudden. Maybe Harvey was um, detecting that there's others on the map or something, and so he was running away. He seems to be a lot more confident now. Yeah, I think that that's part of what was going on. He seems a lot more comfortable trying to fight now. Good job. Good job smashing some bugs. Yeah, he definitely seems a lot more comfortable. This is more of what I was expecting. Yeah, he's just crushing them. Oh, man. I love it. Super cool. Um, hello. Yeah. Oh man, he's gonna get a lot of combat experience doing this if we keep on keeping at it. Um, I am a little bit confused now, um, now that I don't know exactly what I've explored already or not. Come on, Harvey, there you go. Yeah, there. <laughs> Yeah. It's awesome seeing him do that stuff. Oh, did that one die on the dissector? I think that one just got dissected. That's that's awesome if that is what happened. Yeah, it looks like a lot of them have died on that one tile, so I think that totally is what happened. Okay, I wanted to go down. I know there's a little smoky door that's like up right there, right? I was hoping to not take that because I don't think Harvey's going to follow me if I try and go in there. Maybe I tell Harvey to wait here, though. Um, tell you what, Gar Harvey, I'm going to tell you to guard this area. And I think that he might, like, feed himself if you do that for long enough. I'm not sure. That's how it used to be. Uh, so if I tell you... 
guard this position. I'll see you around. I'm going in. We're probably going to run into a lot of um, a lot of them out here. Yeah, I've totally... It looks like my character's totally forgotten all of the stuff, so I'm going to need to be careful um, when I'm navigating around here. From what I remember, though, there was some stairs that went down around here somewhere. Just completely forgotten where. Yeah, it's going to be re-exploring. Sorry, if you're watching this, you probably know more about what's where than I do. Okay, that was that was not too bad. Cool. Okay, um, we are on the next level. And we are in an auto dock room, which is awesome. That's a really nice area to be. Very, very, very cool. Okay, so that means we've got a place to install CBMs. Though I don't think I would really want to do that here. I might even want to take the... Uh, oh, what, what do we have there? Broken, insane cyborg. Well, that's a shame. They got shocked to death. Um, the insane ones, you can't domesticate, can you? I've forgotten. There's like a malfunctioning cyborg and an insane cyborg, right? Uh, insane cy cyborg. Go ahead and make them our friends. Yeah. The incandescent hulk I'll kill and then, I don't know. The anesthetic, I don't know what's, I keep on getting this error message about anesthetic and I'm not sure why, to be honest. Um, so, I get a little bit nervous about trying to do that. Okay, uh, did we... Not... Yeah, we didn't successfully get the auto dock. Doors have been opened. Uh, excuse me. This is going to be probably very painful. Uh, I might want to go auto. Really, he survived auto on that. Um, okay, well. I know I'm gonna get hurt. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, well, he's dead. We got shocked a few times. And was I crouching there when I meant to run? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happened there. Yeah, so this one is one of the ones I can't fix up. That it, That really is a shame. Um... Do I have my X-Acto knife on me? I do. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy and bring him over to a table then. Oh, quiet you. I know. I know. You can get you can get your stand on the back. There we go. Where's our friend? Where did he go? You get shocked again? No. There's still definitely like a Hulk or something around there. Um, dissect, sure. Might as well. We're, we're in a lab. I know there's probably better cybernetics than what we can get from this husk, but... I mean, we're right by a CBM place, I figured. Might as well. Kind of makes sense. I'm sure that, um, our Minotaur is killing, like, all these ants right up there above us. Um, that's actually, I think, a pretty good one. I don't know if I have... I think I, I, I've got a targeting system, right? It might be them thinking of my other character. Uh, let's go ahead and... We'll turn, we can turn that off. Uh, I do have a targeting system and a titanium skeleton. I mean, a titanium skeleton would be kind of nice if... Uh, for like a companion, you know, but I don't think we need it. Sure, I think we need bandages, right? Or no, we need the antiseptic. That was the thing that I wanted. Uh, get the gun back out, and yeah, let's go ahead and get a magazine that's loaded. Cool. And oh, there's a nurse. What? There's another CBM room. That's that would explain the other electricity thing going on there. Can I shoot the nurse bot through that window? Uh, no. 
reinforced glass. It says it is smashable. My one concern here, yeah, it it doesn't seem to like that. That's gonna work. Um, can I actually make that thing friendly to me? Yes, I can. And then I'm gonna put you in passive mode. Oh, <laughs> it looks like we just turned a ton of different turrets into passive mode. Uh, insane cyborg and nurse bot. Oh, there's, is that the same? That must be a different uh, nurse bot. Yeah, go all in passive, it's fine. You're fine. Hello. There we go. Um, yeah, it would be would be nice if we could get them to be all our friends. Um, yeah, that definitely makes me a little bit nervous, that electricity that's right there. Kind of close. Can I... Yeah, he is he's definitely closer than I would like. Let's get um, just a little bit better aim. We'll go auto. There we go. That's that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, I can get a hit. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. That was flaws. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna smash this one. Uh, I'm not really interested in it. That nurse bot, though, I would like to not get uh, dismembered by. So <laughs> I'm just gonna take it apart from a distance. There we go, that one's down. Where are you, nurse bot? I can shoot, oh no, they've gone and moved. This is gonna be the annoying thing, is trying to shoot the nurse bot without her being able to, um, you know, mess us up. Yeah, you're coming for me, I can see it. <laughs> take that. Also, you can make some pretty cool um, robots out of these guys. It's gonna take three hours to disassemble. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna label this CBM uh, room with nurse bot. Yeah, unfortunately, no, no friends. No friends here. More aesthetic though is always appreciated. Um, yeah, I think that we want to keep on moving. What do we have here? Nothing. Nothing. I'm hearing noise. I think it might be above us. I'm not getting like an indicator for above or below. It actually probably is below, or maybe it's above. I don't know. Am I hearing... Okay, I see a turret. That one's passive and friendly. Interesting. Well, it's, that actually would explain why it didn't start shooting at us um, a little while ago. Do you have bullets? You do. Oh my god. So insane. That's so many. Okay, well, I guess we got more bullets. Also, I think we can label the these as explored, right? Maybe not. Maybe we haven't explored at all. Okay, but this is looking pretty good. I, I uh, got a good feeling about medical uh, mutagen coming up sometime soon, any, any minute now. Are those, those are dead spiders. Oh, there's like little man hacks that were in here. Oh, cool. So the man hacks killed all the spiders. I like it. I like that a lot. That's pretty sweet. How's our flashlight doing? Okay, we still got plenty of power. And this is where we came um, came down from. Oh, geez. Um, close. <laughs> um, was that a 50 cal turret? I'm pretty sure that was a 50 cal turret. Can I open that and just peek? No, that's not the 50 cal turret. I need to really hack that 50 cal. That thing's gonna end this character, I can tell. 
at short circuited and turns friendly. <gasps> okay, so that's that's good. Um cool. And more bullets. Oh man. We we seriously have more than we'll ever need. That was kind of random placement though. I don't like how that, that thing just was like literally just randomly right there. Uh, yeah, I was, I was just not seeing the word bleach for some reason my brain was doing that thing. You know, like when the words right in front of you and you just don't see it. I was watching uh, Critzy Bear the other day and that happened to him. But that happens to me all the time, so I'm like not calling him out on it. It's just like one of those things where it's just like... It's right there and you can see it. But your your brain just doesn't register it. Uh, finger lighter. I, I was kind of wanting that. I do remember that was one that I wanted just because it's cool. And I don't remember if we got it. I think I did get it, right? Well, I'm going to mark it in case I didn't so that I can come back for it, but I really... I'm pretty sure it's it's uh, been accounted for. Oh, um... Oh, two different things of bleach. That is that has a lot of bleach. That's a lot of mutagen right there. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, can I unload that bleach and pour it into my um, other containers? Um, that can I pour that into? Yeah, I think like this, right? And then. I don't understand why it's like falling. Okay, so I've got this. Okay, I think that we we used it all. Up. Okay, cool. Actually, it was it exactly thirty. Wow. Okay, cool. So we got some bleach there. Uh, where was the stairs that we came from? They were like over here. I just know that we're gonna end up coming back there anyways. So I might. As oh, it looks like some something's been blown up. I guess somebody doesn't play nice around here. Okay, that smash was me, by the way. I just accidentally hit that table. <laughs> um, there's downstairs right here. That's not what I'm looking for. I wanted the upstairs, which now I'm remembering. I just went all the way around, basically. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, right here. Okay, let's, um, let's just dump some stuff. I don't know why I brought those books down. I'm now looking at that and realizing that we totally don't need to be carrying that. I don't need to be carrying a lot of the stuff. Even even the tailoring kit. Yeah, we'll we'll leave the tailoring kit. If I need it, I'll come back for it there. And let's get the gun back out. Just you know, it's always a good idea in these end game locations to have a uh, lead, lead with the rifle. Um, that is a little bit of a weird little room. Uh, not looking to go in there because that's either got a hellhound or an Ickus. Either way, I'm not looking to get burned. Oh my gosh, this is like the CBM lab. Like seriously, this is bonkers. How many um, things we've came across here on this floor. It's three CBMs um, areas, by the way, if you're... Oh wow, things uh, got blown up a lot there. Prototype Cyborg. I think that's one of the ones that you can make friendly, right? Cool. Um, I'm gonna try and do that then. If uh, I don't get blown up in the process. Hello, Prototype Cyborg. How are we doing? Um... Are you also a prototype? Yeah, you are. Cool. Yeah, open them all. Um, why don't we go over to this little station? Uh, no, don't deactivate. Just come over here. And I'll deactivate you once you're over here. Yeah, almost, almost. Yeah, you're close enough. Where's your friend? Hello, friend. Come with me. Hello. No, you don't want to come with me? Alright, fine. I'll deactivate you. 
one part of me wants to uh, try and and repair them somewhere else, but um, I think yeah, we're just gonna go for it. Oh no, that didn't work. Yeah, I don't care. We're going for it. Oh, hey, it worked. Cool. Oh <laughs> wow. Oh wow, uh, Mason Hino Josa, you are the Ant Man. I need to turn this guy into an insect uh, mutant. <laughs> I would like a Raptor mutant though. We do have a new friend though, possibly. Um, I'm gonna end this here though. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.